up. <laughs> well, I feel like I don't know how to vlog anymore because I haven't vlogged since I got pregnant. Crazy, right? But it's it's kind of really exciting, I promise you. So, um, if in case you wonder why I'm facing everybody with my bare face, it's because uh, I'm about to undergo a procedure called microblading. I know, it sounds crazy. And, it sounds scary too because of the word blade, but uh, after I read the reviews and watched previous vlogs about this, um, it doesn't really seem so daunting. So I'm gonna see it for myself. So uh, after some research, I found this nice permanent makeup clinic in New York, which is the Eyebrow Doctor. So I have set up an appointment uh, with them so today is the day um, and I promise you you are in it for a treat so I decided to have this procedure because my brows are naturally thin all right I'm gonna go closer to the camera so you can see so the hairs of my brows are really thin so I got it from my mama and my mama got it from her mama so basically I got mine from my Lola and so the long line of thin brows came from my ancestors. <laughs> Kidding aside, uh, we all know the role of brows um, in, you know, as it shapes and frames our face, right? So to enhance it, I use a lot of products and consumes a lot of time in perfecting this, um, and perfecting the brows and achieving, you know, brows on fleek. So Right now, I'm gonna show you the products that I use for my brows. Um, it usually takes me around 10 minutes to perfect my brows and uh, it took me years to, to know how to do them. It's not uh, something that happened overnight. It's something that I perfected over the years. <laughs> so, um, and I tell you, my husband knows about it and um, I cannot be disturbed when I'm doing my brows. I need my own um, space and uh, so let's go I'm gonna show you my brow products so here are the products that I use for my brows these are the eyebrow pencils that I use most of them are from Anastasia or Anastasia I don't know how to pronounce it right but I have this thing and uh, I love this product the oh it's the opposite it's the brow whiz and I also have the pomade or pomade dip brow and I have this brush from wonder brow because I used to use the wonder brow too but now I don't and uh, some oh I have one product that I use from Glossier uh, the boy brow I love this product too and of course the one from benefit which is a conditioning primer so about my experience in microblading that I just had this afternoon so my appointment was 2 30 p.m. and I was done around 4 p.m. Um, 
So the first thing that the technician did, um, by the way, her name is Monica, is to put like a topical numbing cream on my brows. Then uh, she told me that I need to wait 20 minutes um, for it to take effect. And then soon afterwards, um, she took a picture of me before the procedure and then um, she shaped my brows um, using like an eyebrow pencil like to uh, to serve as a guide um, in, in you know the procedure that she's gonna do with me the microblading thing so we had a thorough discussion about the final shape of my brows um, the thing is um, I gave her elaborate instructions about like how I would want my brows to look like and of course I took some of her advice too because she's the expert in this um, we are talking about permanent semi-permanent tattoos here so you you really have to voice out your preferences otherwise you might have some regrets at the end right so shortly after um, Monica had me lay down and then she started the procedure Right, so to describe a pain, it's how you guys feel when you're plucking your brows. Um, and it stings, but wears off eventually. But what I'm talking about here is, you know, plucking several hairs. All at the same time in one swipe. Crazy, right? So, um, that's the be best way to describe it. But I guess I don't mind because the entire procedure just lasted for 20 to 30 minutes. It was pretty quick and the result, it's amazing. Like my husband cannot believe, he can't believe how natural looking the strokes are. All right, I'm gonna go closer to the camera. I don't know if you guys can see like the hair like strokes that she did did on me. There's a little bit uh, like blood on some areas of my skin, but it looks like that. I hope my camera focuses on my brows, but this is day one. So um, they do not sting anymore. There's no pain at all. Um, the color, by the way, the color that they used on my brows is actually lighter than my natural hair color. So that's nice. And I have to see Monica um, a month after for, for a touch-up that's for free. Um, and uh, the touch-up, the purpose of the touch-up is just you know, for her to see my brows, how it turned out. And if there's anything that I would want her to fix on my brows, she can do that for free. Um, she also mentioned that uh, it's normal that I would observe and see that the shade's gonna get darker um, after a few days, but it would just last for a week. So after a week, I would really see the the real shade and the end result. So I'm gonna vlog, vlog that too. I'm gonna include that in my vlog too. So stay tuned. And um, by the way, I'm a breastfeeding mom, so I... Um, went and checked and asked my OBGYN about this procedure and she gave me a go signal just um the, the just the primary concern is that I just um have to make sure that it doesn't get infected so I made sure that the clinic that I you know I chose is a reputable one to avoid these complications all right so to sum up um, my microblading experience was absolutely incredible um, it was worth all the penny. So if you guys have any questions, um, just post your questions in the comment section below and I'll try my best to answer all of them. So thank you guys for watching and see you in my next vlog.